Hello, welcome back to Roy is the Boy. Now for you today, as you can see on the bench here, I have got a steel uh, MS181 uh, chainsaw. Uh, someone's brought it in and they says what's happening is every time they rev it up, it's cutting out. So uh, let's take it outside, start it up and see if we can find out what the problem is and solve it. All right, I've decided just to start it up in here really, uh, just to check it over. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll put this on to choke. What you do is you pull this uh, throttle in and push that all the way down. And just see if we can give it a little tug. And keep the brake off because the blades will, uh, the chain will go around. So we take it off half a choke. So we let it warm up for a little bit. Oh, I don't see like there's anything wrong with that. So, right, what I'm going to do is, you know, I've got a log outside, we'll take it outside and we'll see if it uh, starts bogging down or cutting out when we're trying to cut some branches. Right, so we'll start this off. I've got a pair of earphones on this time, or head, air defenders, I should say. saw outside um, it was running uh, there was a couple of times when I did pull the, the uh, throttle where it did slow just a little a touch it could do the little tune up plus I think this this uh, chain has had it uh, because the wood is burning and it was bogging it it slowed down as I was trying to cut that log so what I will do first uh, I'll give it a quick sharpen and then maybe just give it a little bit of adjustment on the high and lows there just to see if it makes any difference well that certainly cut through that log a, a lot better than what is that is a piece of oak wood by the way um, which someone left me and so it's good I'm going to keep that there <laughs> it's not having that bit back which I'll use for testing so yeah that little cut um, chainsaw sharpening done a trick on that um, as you saw it did uh, it did need a little bit of choke at the beginning. I didn't think it would have done, um, but it needed warming up a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is just give it a general service, and uh, hopefully that will solve the problem. And just mess around with the uh, the tuning up of it as well. Right, I gave it a nice little tidy up and a clean. Uh, just waiting for this bit here just to soak in a little bit more. Oh, that's a bit better. Just I will have to take this off afterwards. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is just take this cover off it's a very simple you just pull this back and this lifts off and under here you get the air filter just unclip it like that take it out and what I'm doing is I don't have a, a new one it's pretty clean as that happens it just needs a good blowing out so I will do that and I will also take the spark plug out and give that a little clean as well all right so we'll have a little look at this uh, Oh, that plug wasn't even on properly that was quite loose and also what I've noticed here 
we take this off. Oh, it's really hot. Well, the colour of it is running nice. Maybe a bit brown, but there's no oil in on it. But there was oil coming out of here. Uh, that's probably where it wasn't tightened in properly. So, I'm going to stick a new, new plug on it. Which I do have one here to hand. Now this one here has got a Bosch a Bosch R10 inside it. Now what I've got here, which will please a few people, is not a Torx plug, and it's an NGK CMR6H, which I shall replace with that. So we're tightening that up, uh, put that back together in, and then uh, we're cleaning that round by the train area. Alright, so that's all bolted in, the air filter's back on. Now to put these on, just inside there you've got two little lugs, and just on there. So they just slide onto there to put these back, push it in, and then push that in. Just give it a little testing, because as you notice, outside it did come undone when I was <laughs> running the engine all right so then what we've got to do now is unbolt this i'm going to give this a clean up from under there because it, it does look like it's got thick weed stuff so then we'll undo undo that and then we give it a clean up all right so that's off of there And this just slides out. Oh, it's not as bad as what I thought, really. Uh, I will give it a good clean. Uh, and also in here. So really, I'll just get the air blower on that and uh, give it a blowout. And then we'll come back. All right, so that's the best, really, I'm going to get that. Because it will. as soon as you start using it again, that will get some chain oil inside there, and that will make it dirty. But I have physically now just give it a good clean. The chain itself does not need tightening up because it's just perfect at the moment. That's it. So there you have it on this uh, steel MS-171, uh, oh sorry, 181, this is, I've got a 171 to do. Yeah, so it didn't really to me have the problem with uh, cutting out, um, I don't know what it was uh, they said what it was really doing. Uh, it was bogging down when you're cutting, so that was just down due to the, a blunt chain. Uh, gave it a sharpen and as you saw it did cut through that piece of oak wood uh, very nicely. Um, yeah. Give it a clean up, clean of carburetor, new spark plug, uh, not carburetor, the air filter. Uh, give it a new spark plug and a general clean over as well. So this one is done. So this all there is uh, from me on this still uh, MS181. Uh, if you did like it, please give us a thumbs up and uh, hit that blue, that, uh, black, grey notification bell. God, I'm tongue twisting today, anyway. Yeah, and anyway, thanks for watching anyway, people, and uh, till next time, cheerio.